Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this video is uh, focus is on when to use uh, logarithmic mean temperature difference and when to use arithmetic mean when you are designing a, a shell and tube heat exchanger. And I'm taking a simple case of shell and tube heat exchanger and counter current flow. The reason for uh, taking up this problem shell and tube heat exchanger is that is one heat exchanger that is being used regularly in a chemical industry. And the second reason is this problem of uh, when do you go for arithmetic mean and when do you go for logarithmic mean temperature difference is asked in one of the gate examinations. I am taking a simple problem through which I am trying to explain as to what how the arithmetic mean temperature difference, arithmetic mean and logarithmic mean temperature difference can be distinguished. Hot fluid is uh, uh, ethylene glycol uh, that is uh, two, with a specific heat of 2.56 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. Uh, flow rate is 2 kg per second and it has to be cooled from 80 degrees centigrade to 40 degrees centigrade using uh, coolant uh, coolant is cooling water here whose specific heat all of us know is 4.18 kilojoules per kg kelvin the coolant enters at 20 degrees centigrade and leaves at 60 degrees centigrade uh, the heat transfer coefficient is given but our main focus in this particular problem is how do you calculate the logarithmic mean temperature difference or you calculate only logarithmic mean temperature difference or we need to calculate arithmetic mean temperature difference in order to calculate the heat transfer area in order to calculate the heat transfer area first and foremost thing is we need to calculate the rate of heat transfer and uh, the rate of heat transfer in this case is given the hot fluid parameters specific heat uh, the mass flow rate and the temperature difference uh, the rate of heat transfer here is purely sensible heat transfer and that is given by mass flow rate of hot what hot fluid that is ethylene glycol into specific heat into the temperature difference that is 80 minus uh, 40 degrees centigrade so that gives around 204.8 kilojoules per second and all this heat has to be transferred to coolant for the case of an adiabatic system an adiabatic system is one where is there is no heat gain or loss from surroundings so when you equate the rate of heat transfer to the rate of heat transfer to the hot rate of heat trans lost by hot fluid to the rate of heat gained by cold fluid we get the mass flow rate of the coolant which is one of the design parameters and that gives the mass flow rate is 1.22 kgs per second next coming to the the critical part of this particular video that is the shell uh, log when do you go for logarithmic mean temperature difference and when do you go for arithmetic mean temperature difference the temperature difference here at both ends one end we call it as delta t1 the other end we call it as delta t2 surprisingly the both end temperature differences are same delta t1 is delta t1 is 20 and delta t2 is also 20 so how do you calculate the uh, temperature i mean uh, whether to go for logarithmic mean temperature difference or whether to go for arithmetic mean here if the delta t2 by delta t1 that is is less than 1 remember delta t2 has to be greater than delta t1 if delta t2 by delta t1 is less than 2 with the condition that delta t2 greater than delta t1 we have to use arithmetic mean and if delta t2 by delta t1 greater than 2 we have to go for logarithmic mean in this case delta t2 by delta t1 whether you take which uh, delta t1 as 20 or the other delta t2 will be 20 so this will be 1 so we cannot use logarithmic mean temperature difference in this case we have to go by arithmetic mean temperature difference and that is delta t1 plus delta t2 by 2 that is 20 degrees centigrade this is one case the second case even for the case of for example let us take a simple case where delta t1 is 20 degrees centigrade and delta t2 is 30 degrees centigrade in this case also delta t2 is 30 degrees and delta t1 is 20 degrees centigrade we tend to use logarithmic mean temperature difference in this case which also is not correct because delta t2 by delta t1 in this case is 1.5 which is less than 2 and we have to use uh, arithmetic mean in this particular case also with this i conclude my video thank you